Hello viewers, in this video we will learn how we can connect on Node MCU uh, to the Thingsboard platform and we will send data to this platform using Node MCU and later uh, we will uh, send commands to the Node MCU using toggle switches. So first uh, you have to uh, log into the Thingsboard, uh, Thingsboard platform. Uh, please uh, try the demo version demo.thingsboard.io and uh, first you need to uh, sign up and then you can log in so first we have to set up a device so let's go to the device section and here we'll create a new device let's name it node mcu and add okay so the device is now set now we have to manage the credentials and from here we can get our token but first we have to make it public okay so let's make it public and now uh, we'll get the credentials we have to copy this access token okay, let's copy it now let's go to the programming part so to access uh, things board we need the things board library and another library so first we'll install these libraries so let's go to the manage library section okay so now search things board okay so now let's install the things board library i am using the 0.6 version and i recommend using this version because i have got errors with the other versions uh, it conflicts with the pub sub client library so it's safe to use this version we need another library uh, that is called pub sub client scroll down and this one pub sub client version 2.8 uh, install this library okay now we are set uh, first uh, here you have to define the name of your Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi password and here inside the access token you have to paste the token uh, we copied earlier from the Thingsboard platform and the server would be demo.thingsboard.io and here uh, we have defined a variable named var and each time the value of this variable will be incremented as you can see and we will send data using this function tb.send uh, telemetry and here uh, you have to define the name of the variable i am assigning it temperature and set the uh, value of the variable and uh, i have set the delay of one second you can keep the rest of the code like this okay so from the tool section let's select the board ESP. Uh, I am using Node MCU 1.0. Select the board and the upload speed and select the port and upload it. Okay, the upload is complete uh, now let's open the serial monitor As you can see uh, it is showing us that it is sending data so let's get back to the things board 
platform and let's open the device and if you go to the latest telemetry you can see that the variable name is temperature and the value is incrementing uh, this is a real-time database so uh, the values are updated in real time as the variable gets incremented the data is also gets incremented okay so now we want to see it in a better view so let's go to the dashboard section and we'll create a new dashboard let's name it db let's open the dashboard and here we are going to add a new widget Going to add a card view as you can see card view uh, there are various type of card views uh, I'll choose this one now we have to set the data source okay let's create a new alias uh, let's name it counter And the filter type it would be device type and let's set it default and let's add it and after that if you click here latest uh, data keys you will see the variable we defined earlier that was named temperature so let's add it and inside the data section uh, we don't want to see the degree Celsius as it is just a counter data and let's add it okay. so inside the card view uh, you can see that the data is incrementing uh, as the node MCU is sending data continuously okay so it's done now uh, we want to set a toggle switch and when we click on the toggle switch we want that the node MCU uh, receive that command and respond to it so let's click on the add new widget and create new widget uh, control widgets here search for toggle switch okay switch control and first let's name it ds1 inside the advanced settings uh, let's name this variable and let's copy it Keep the both variable name same. Okay, so the toggle switch is now set. Now we'll move to the coding part. Okay, we have made some changes uh, to our previous code. First, we defined a Boolean type variable that uh, tells us of the subscribe uh, subscription state, and we need to define uh, RPC response method. Uh, you can name it uh, as you wish but uh, you have to uh, remember this name and we have to use it later and inside this function uh, we have a if else statement where if the parameter is true uh, meaning if you are turning the switch one uh, we want to display that the toggle switch uh, let's name it toggle switch one and 
see now the toggle switch one the toggle switch one is on turned on and if we uh, turn the toggle switch off it will display us that the toggle switch one is off and we have to define a callback uh, response and inside here uh, you can add multiple toggle switches and depending on that you have to set the size of the callback and here uh, you have to uh, provide the name of the toggle switch uh, method uh, as we renamed earlier that get value one and this is our um, rpc response function that is ds1 and inside the tv connected here we are we have defined that the subscription is false uh, and after it is connected and if we check that it is not subscribed we want to uh, subscribe uh, the switch uh, to the system and later here uh, we want to comment this we don't want to see the variables again okay so it's ready now let's upload the code Let's open the dashboard as you can see it is connected and it is connected to the uh, dashboard and it is also subscribed now uh, if we go back to the dashboard and if we turn it on let's see what happens you can see uh, that it is uh, showing some responses and it is showing us that toggle switch one is uh, turned on and if we turn it off back it will show us that the toggle switch one is off so this was the tutorial uh, i hope it was helpful and if you have any questions uh, you can ask me in the comment section and i will provide link to the code uh, in the description box Thank you for watching.